So there was one word that Sanford Meisner uh, used to say is the single most important word in an actor's vocabulary. And that word is the question or question, the word why. The question why. He said that little question, that one word will lead you to specifics that can, that can live inside your artistic soul. Why, why, why? And the more clear you are with that question, the more specific you are, the easier it is to lock and load, the easier it is to prepare or fall into that world, right? Well, conversely, he also had a word uh, that he forbade, and, and that's what I'd like to talk about today. And it's not just for the Meisner techniques so or for all of you Meisner teachers out there, or Meisner actors, but honestly, any actor. This is one word you want to get out of your vocabulary, and the word is sorta, kinda, sorta, same thing. It's the exact same word, basically. Because what it does is it dilutes your, the impact of your imaginary world. As we're trying to fall into this world, hell, it's hard enough trying to, to create and, and, and behave truthfully, live out truthfully, react truthfully in this imaginary circumstance. You don't want to dilute it. Sandy once said, it's easy to bring it down, it's a bitch to pull it up. And this is what he was talking about. So if anyone ever used the word in a breakdown, kinda, sorta, Sandy went, he didn't go nuts, but he just was like sharp, quick, no, right? And so I'd like, to I'd like to explain why today, because again, I think it, I know it will benefit any actor trying to, to fall into their imaginary worlds. What's the problem with the word? It dilutes, it dilutes things, right? We're trying, to live, we're trying to recreate and live out and fall into and step into this imaginary world. We don't want it hazy. We don't want it blurry. We want it clear, crystal clear. So you'll hear students in breakdowns, they'll say, I'll say, how is that? Tell me about your setup. Well, we're husband and wife and, you know, our marriage is, you know, it's kind of on the raw, you know, boom, boom. I'll, I'll jump on that word right away. And after a while, I don't have to jump on it anymore because the students, it's so funny, they catch themselves. Do it anytime it even comes close to coming out of their mouth, they'll catch it because they realize the truth of this teaching, right? So we're husband and wife, we're kind of, you know, not getting along. It's kind of sort of a little tough the last, you know, no, be specific, be clear. You know, it, we're a husband and a wife and we're, our marriage is on the rocks. It's, it's tough. Now, if it's not that extreme, let's say the setup requires that it's not that, the marriage is not that much of a mess, then yes, then bring it down. We're a married couple. The last few months we've been struggling. We've been fighting a lot. Uh, we, we are, our, you know, the intimacy has, has, has really diminished greatly. You know, but it's it's these but it's, but this kind of sorta stuff just dilutes it. So even if you want to bring it down, because sometimes students will say that, well, it's not that extreme. I go, great. Then be specific about what it is. Be like a bullseye, like a hunting dog, so that your imagination knows where in the hell to go. But this, I'm coming to the door. Yeah, I'm kind of so, you're kind of a kind of sorta a shitty neighbor. You're kind of sort right. No. So get rid of that word. Okay. Okay. And look, if, for any of you out there who are watching this, of course you know what to do and hit the buttons and all that stuff that people tell you to do. But m more importantly to me, reach out with your questions. You know, there's, there, whether you're a teacher of the Miser Technique around the world or uh, a, a student studying somewhere. Ever since Sandy passed, there's, you know, Meisner has become fashionable, the Miser Technique, sorry, has become very fashionable and there's people, you know, all over the place teaching. And that's not a criticism, it's a wonderful thing and most all are, are really well-intentioned. They mean well, they're doing the best they can. But you know, I'll be honest with you, it's like that, again, talking about this all the time, it's like that telephone game, it gets diluted, right? It, it gets diluted. You know, it's, uh, they, they studied with somebody who studied with somebody who studied with somebody who may have studied with Sandy and I can tell you that there's an enormous difference between being a student of Sanford Myers and being mentoring under Sandy to teach his way. And so, so the, the, the goal here is to help anybody who might have questions about the work, the technique, etc. whether you're a teacher or a student, reach out. I love questions, okay? 